What year is it? Hey, what year is it? Talks to self in mirror. It is 2023, and Notion may or may not have just implemented the first semblance of automation within their platform. We manually have been able to do a lot of things, right? I mean, and we, we did get recurring templates a little bit ago. But if you notice now, you got this little button right here that says create and view automations on any database or linked database. Got a whole helped article around it. Hmm, what does that mean? That means we finally have automations. Good Lord, what year is it? 2023. What year is it? Holy shit, it worked, it just worked. Got it. I'm just gonna say I'm happy, be done with it. I don't wanna complain. Let's dive into what this can be. Inside of any database now, what we can do is we can click on new automation and you'll notice that when I press add trigger, we have the option to choose so many different things. So essentially we can choose page added to the database. So you can see that it says four pages in and then the content calendar. Uh, you can actually set this to not only be for any page in the database, but for specific views. Yes, yes, you heard me right. That means that it's going to have the various filters on it. So for example, this master calendar that is going to essentially be filtered. Let well, you press discard just to show you. But this is filtered so that it's um, main content, not subtasks, not archive, and then it's excluding some platform. This guy right here is filtered to also be for my YouTube channel. Now, if I wanted to, I can set it to any pages in the content calendar, or it can just do it for YouTube and then the instances would occur. So it goes through that filter first before it factors in this next trigger. This is groundbreaking. Now you might be like, oh, is it how, how groundbreaking is it, huh? No, it's 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 insane. This is not a, this, listen, look at me, okay, hey, eye contact. This is insane. <sighs> then we can pick whether the trigger is, you know, we add something to this. The action following it can be send Slack notification, right? That is That is an option. So if a page is added, we then can DM people or send messages to internal and external slacks. That's pretty big considering. So personally, I have so many different channels because I run a business through Notion, Slack, Google Drive. That's all I really need. And a little bit of Gmail sprinkled in there. But look at the ability for this to just go crazy. So like, for example, if I wanted to, it didn't have, it doesn't have to be page added. It could be another trigger like, okay, so the status is set to rendered. What would that mean? That would mean that the video is rendered. So if, for example, I wanted to, I could set it to task to do. And this essentially, once I press create, you'll notice that this automation occurs. I can edit it or pause it. But say I were to change this guy to rendered, okay? And it's set. So when status is set to rendered, notify task to do BAU. And for me, BAU means business as usual. And that essentially means that I'm just informing my team. I do wish that in the three dots here, I could press duplicate and it would make another one, but unfortunately that is not an option. Big sad. And I won't lie to you, after setting this automation, it is a little bit frustrating that it goes across like every view. So for me, I have so many different clients that are connected to the content calendar where I could have it filter so that it does contain, uh, you know, the, the client, right? But then I also would then have to scroll through all of these in order to see it. So like I have nine clients currently and there's a myriad of different automations. And while I can change this name to YouTube rendered BAU, it only goes so far if I have a myriad of these. And also it did take a little bit longer than to be desired. Um, it does show the status going from scheduled to rendered, which is accurate, but that did take like four minutes to happen. It's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I've seen worse, don't get me wrong, but you know, it would be nice if it took a little less time. But I am pretty grateful that, you know, it can filter through that baseline. Then the trigger can be whether it's added, it can select from any property is edited. And then if it's any property edited, you can add a page somewhere, you can edit pages, you can send Slack notifications. So for example, for the add pages, it doesn't even have to be to the same database. For the other actions, it can also edit pages in other places. So it can edit other databases. And then it would be able to be filtered so you can have it match whatever filter options you want you have it edit multiple properties this works very similar to what you have with button logic but in an automated way so when it says any property edited you could in theory have it map to for example status is rendered if it's in a specific view then it would basically catch whatever would be rendered and then you can update the page 
right? I personally think that this is awesome for default things you wanna set up. I like this page added. What is great here is in the content calendar, I have this system set up, right? Where anytime I open up one of these, I want it to be what's called self-related. So the reason I want it to be self-related is because essentially I took a lot of this data that's in this myriad of properties. It's way too many properties to scroll through and took what was most important and added it to different things like the content assets so the different folders and whatnot. So now rather than having to pay for external automation software like make.com to do that by default, I can instead set it up so that in the content calendar in general, anytime a page is added, I can edit the pages in the content calendar press self-relation filter and relate it to the page that was made. But it does have one fault. It only works if you can make a filter that perfectly maps it. So you could make it so that it's like created time is today, right? You can do on or after today. It's just, it's not, it's not gonna work though. Like I wish it would. I wish it would be able to update the original page that was made to do this. So I actually misspoke. You'd have to figure it out. Like you'd have to really figure this out. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this is actually possible. Kind of frustrating. Wish that we would be able to self-relate it here, but essentially any page that would be made in this day would be, uh, yeah, it would be broken. So not happy about that. But I'm sure we'll get to the point where this will be able to have the filter be like this page, you know, like update pages and content calendar that match this page. That's what I hope, but that's just, I want to show you a limitation because it just won't work, but that's totally okay. I mean, right now I have this little RP dashboard or I have a timeline that showcases all the different tasks that me and the team are doing. And if I can figure out a way to use this to add triggers so that anytime a status is set to completed, then what we can do is make sure that this is set to the specific view, like the priority timeline view. So long story short, that just means like current priorities that are not anything in the backlog. We can maybe add page to that priorities and then pick a template. What would that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That would mean as if I finish the priority for the week of something, I could make a bunch of these different templates so that for example, when I finish recording for the week, it would then make next week's priority. True recurring tasks in the way that they were meant to be. I could set it so that the project timeline would start now, and then I could edit another property to make sure the status is now not started and the rest of it. That is amazing. I am astounded at the fact that if I set something to complete, that I could make recurring tasks, almost like a repeating task system. Once you complete it, then you'd have to do it again the next day. That's, that's the kind of stuff I've been waiting for. There's a myriad of different things you can do with this. It's pretty advanced. I just wanted to give you a baseline overview of it. Talk about the limitations, but mostly Notion, thank you for finally doing this. Jesus Christ, it's taken way too long. The fact of the matter is, the fact that I can not have to do Zapier for every single Slack automation now is amazing. Thank you so much. I was sick and tired of this not being the case and just be grateful. Multi-billion dollar company, by the way. And if you like this video and wanna see more, we also have an entire Notion course, which I should add a module on top of the current course, including this because it is awesome and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and your thoughts on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.